the truth and reconciliation process is not really about the past. We only need to understand yesterday so we can deal with today and tomorrow. The people of Otsuren understood this. They asked the Truth Commission for a special hearing so they could express their feelings and ideas about the past and the future of their community. That is what happened at the very first hearing held by the Reparation and Rehabilitation Committee this past week. Perhaps this is the real spirit of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, a day requested by and devoted to the communities of Bongoletu and Bridgeton in Otswurn. A day to speak not only about their pain and anger, but also about their hopes and dreams. There were many unique features to this extraordinary hearing. For the first time ever, it was communities and not individuals who came to tell their stories. And they did so not only with words and statements, but also with an exhibition, with song and serious group discussion. Churches, youth, the families of victims, women and the media were given time to speak in their own voices about what they wanted from the present to overcome the past. Ik, hier net mijn mensen, mijn gemeente, Piet, dien op daar die dienst. Hij hier net zijn mensen. Hij is net te doen met andere mensen. Wit, zwart en brein. Want waardoor bij God is niet verspild. We have now to interact on a different level where we have to read the heart and the minds of the people that distrust us. So it's a difficult one that we move into. It's easy to destabilize and to break down, but it's a different method to come together with the intention to build and to reconstruct. That's a very, very tough one. That's why I say education is important. We must get the, the children of today ready for tomorrow. And if we can't get the children together, we are fighting a, a, a losing battle. That's why I say it's so important that we, we, we start with the children in the schools. I remember the times when Dr. Busak used to come to Otto. He always used to say whenever he goes to places, he'll refer to Otto as being a place where the people, he doesn't see color here because, I mean apart from the whites, because the colored people and, and the black people can work together if we want to, because there was a time when we used to work together very nicely. That ons die kinders leer om nader aan mekaar te kom en te integreer. Dan sal die, die, die toekomst vir almal in, in, in Oudsoang baie beter lik in elke geval. By the end of the day, the communities of Bridgeton and Bongoletu had given their way forward. And the Truth Commission's committee had taken note. Het sterf het in die apartheidsera dat daar vir hulle een monument saamgestel word. Een monument wat... It was also asked that these people who died in the apartheid era have a monument dedicated to them. And it was also asked that the women sit down and launch a bursary fund and that money be used so that students who did matric and whose parents cannot afford to send them to tertiary institutions be assisted. And then obviously the, the question around medical treatment, people who still have bullet wounds, people who still suffer at a physical level should be uh, given medical treatment and those people are also suffering from psychological continuing uh, problems, they should also be given, given help. Um, in terms of our history, it was also felt again that the children need to know the history of this place and in that respect the exhibition um, can be continued and expanded. More people need to be drawn into writing the history of Oudsworen so that the children can go and know that Oudsworen wasn't always like it is today. Uh, there was one Oudsworen. Uh, people used to be integrated, used to live next to each other in town. And the children can learn where their fathers and their grandfathers and mothers went to church and school and so on. In mense wat pain and vervolging geleie die slagoffers it is necessary to bring together perpetrators and victims and sufferers, and it's all uh, 
nice to talk about this and pay lip service to the idea until actual people are being identified as perpetrators or, or victims. And then the question is, would these specific individuals, would they be willing to meet? The local ministers felt that this would actually be possible. This has been an incredible day. I was terribly impressed that the Oton community in the discussions was not saying to the Truth Commission, we wait for you to solve our problem. In fact, people were very aggressive about saying that Oton has to take it and move with it. The people of Bongoletu and Bridgeton this week took big steps towards the future as they saw it. They'd lay down their ideas about rehabilitation for a past of desperate conflict and oppression. And they'd laid the symbolic cornerstone for a unified future. Now the question remains of whether other communities will get to do the same.